Dean, a tough result here at Gateshead today. Your thoughts? Difficult result. I thought we played outstanding, I have to be honest with you. I thought we had so many brilliant chances. We made so many presses, turned the ball over and then forced half so many times. And at 1-0, really, we don't go 2-3-4 and really put the game to bed before half-time. Um, I mean, you can't listen at the end of the day. To be fair to the lad, the equaliser, it's an absolute worldie, isn't it? And then the second one's a torn over. And then, to be fair to the lad, it's a good finish in the near post. Bit disappointed Josh getting beat at his near post like that. Um, but look, I thought we played really, really well. I thought we deserved to win the game. Kabamba got that opening goal for us. Second half, he come off with an injury. Uh, how has he been after the game? Have you had a chance to speak to him? Straight away. You'll see how he is over the next 48 hours. This is what happens winter months. You're going to pick up injuries. Players need to step into the in, into the team and do the business. Like I said, our, our team performance was excellent today. Uh, we had enough chances to win two games. I thought we were the better team throughout the game. Um, and once we continue to play like that, we'll, we'll get more positive results than negative ones. You opted to play Reese Hall Johnson as a, a right winger today. He had a few chances in that in that game. How did you feel he did today? I, I, say, I thought everyone played well, apart from the last bit, which is the, the real end product. Um, the killer bit, we weren't killer enough today, we just weren't rootless enough in front of the goal. We, like I said, we had so many great chances. Reese missed a sitter at the end, he missed an open goal, he? header in the middle of the six yard box, free header, and he's got a score. Like He's missed a couple of chances in the first half, but look, once we continue to keep getting chances, we'll eventually score them. So ideally, we'd like to tighten up. Like I say, I've no issue with the first goal, I thought the first goal was an absolute worldie. Uh, the second goal was a lack of communication in midfield where Pritch could control the ball, and obviously, sort of our naiveness, our youngness of our group. Um, not giving them the right information, so we turned the ball out from there. The lads ran on the side and slotted it. Um, but it's hard, the, the better team lost today. Um, obviously, a week to build up to the derby game against Wealdstone. How's this week going to look? Look at every other week. Um, the division's relentless. I don't know how other results have gone, but air points target, we're still on for that. We're still on. The biggest thing for us is to have a word of some of our supporters there. You know, we've got to stick together. Like, um, you know, we've got big players out for us, Gorman, uh, Collinge. They're huge players for us. Look, we will sign some players over the next few few weeks. We will make uh, add a little bit more quality to the group. Um, it just takes time. We haven't got deep pockets. That's the truth. That's the reality of it. So we can't just go out and pick and choose exactly what. It just takes time to get deals done. So um, we'll see how the boys recover. We'll just keep pulling together, keep sticking together, and uh, move on to the next game. There's no point in crying over it. I thought we played really well. If we continue to play to that level, we will definitely win way more matches than what we lose. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.